I'll tell you the one thing that Shane Gillis' tires isn't. It's definitely not The Office. All right, so it took me about a week to get through tires, which is it's only six episodes, and they're only about 35 minutes each. But it was a little bit of a struggle. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what they were thinking when they wrote the show. They were like, do you remember in the office, you remember, you remember how the guys in the warehouse, how cool those guys were? They would just loaf around and don't, they wouldn't do anything. How they, they were so funny, man. That's what they thought when they wrote this show because this show is it's a strange bird right um netflix bought it along with shane gillis's stand-up special and i think the stand-up specials did well and i'm not gonna say like i'm a huge fan of shane gillis but i think he's all right i heard his uh, snl monologue and i thought that was you know pretty okay um and i have no qualms about his humor like he's fine but this show is just not well written. <laughs> it takes it maybe by the fifth or sixth, fifth and sixth episode, there's finally some jokes that I thought were pretty good. And the critics have kind of taken at it. But there's some good news at the end of the rainbow for those of you who are Shane Gillis fans. So we'll take a look at the show. I'll talk a little bit about it. You know, as a TV critic here, I'm trying to make sense of what I saw because this is a meandering random show about nothing it's it it's about valley forge tire an auto repair i guess where they mostly focus on changing tires and oil and brakes and struts and things like that there are characters in the show but i couldn't tell you anything about them the one thing that was interesting about the office is that the characters the actions that happened in the office there were the, the the it gave them personalities like you could tell who these people were based on what was going on i have not a blessed clue what any of these people are it's like there's the silent guy who's the good mechanic that's it that's all you get there's the chick who works at the front desk who's i guess white trash chick okay uh, there's Shane Gillis, who plays Shane Gillis. Then there's the annoying lead guy, Steven Gruder or whatever. That guy, he's terrible. I don't like him at all. I don't find him funny. I don't think him. I don't think he's amusing as the foil. Like he's the main thrust of the show. Essentially, they work at this tire factory, sh uh, this tire place, and the manager's dad owns the whole franchise. And there's, there's a lot going, you know, he owns all these different locations. And it's funny because, yes, I know all the Philadelphia locations there. There's Belmont one, Valley Forge. Like, I know them all. So I found that amusing, but no one else will because I'm a native Philadelphian. Anyway, they, they uh, <laughs> so he clearly knows Philadelphia well. I, I get it. And then he throws a little local spice in there. There, <laughs> and, and essentially his... They're cousins. Shane is cousin to the manager. And the manager's completely incompetent in everything he does. And all it is is Shane ribbing him and never actually doing any work. And them not focusing or accomplishing anything. Uh, Stavros Milkas is in it. I thought he was actually pretty good. I like Stavros. I thought he could actually act a little bit. Everyone else seemed like amateur actors. The jokes were not real good. Every once in a while is funny. And let's go into the actual, like what people are saying. Netflix tires and the gutless comedy of Shane Gillis. Now, I, I don't necessarily <laughs> agree with this. Uh, yeah, there, I mean, the, 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 there's like two Italian characters that he, you know, uses a racial slur on. And then he does like this terrible uh, Godzilla joke about being... A, uh, him doing an, a, a Chinese impression or, or Japanese, like none of it is that funny. And it's, it's not, like they could have been executed, but it's just not that funny. Andrew Schultz is in it, and oh my God, he is just, he, his character, and his friend, they have no personalities, they're nothing. They're just the guys who come in and tell crude jokes. 
They literally don't say words. They just go, hey, give me a deep boogoo, give me that boogoo. And it's just not the office. It's not clever. It's not that interesting. I don't care about any of the characters. Uh, yeah, here's the plot. is um, The manager, who's played by Steven Gerben, ordered too many tires. And they, and they have to unload excess tires and upsell customers. Awesome. That's it. It's all you got. Not much else going on here. Um, I don't know. It's it's not. It's always funny because you're trying to decipher. Like always funny is they're the uh, quintessential unlikable screwballs, right? But it, and you're always trying to decipher their personalities because you can't quite like is Dennis truly a psychopath or is he just playing a psychopath? You know, is is Charlie really <laughs> like that? Is he? Is there something wrong with Charlie, or is Charlie like really clever? Or you just don't ever really know exactly what you're gonna get with that show. This show, they just don't have anything. Um, it's just not. It's it. It's yeah. It just doesn't seem like there was a script. Like honest, honestly, it seems like they bought the trailer. Netflix bought a trailer, which I heard this was like on. It was a YouTube show that funded by Gillis himself, and or they reshot their trailer, cut it up and turned it into a show and it is not put together well it's a lot of just shane gillis like googling at the cat like making faces of the camera and being like uh dude that's not funny enough it's just it's just not there so uh who else, what else do people have to say uh tires self-funded showcase that spins its wheels tv review this is from variety uh, they talk a lot about where it came from and nobody cares. And it started in 2019 as a pilot. And then they filmed it. So Netflix acquired it all as one bag. And it must have been really, really cheap because it looks really, really cheap. It doesn't look like they spent a lot of time doing anything. Like, especially not writing. They're just messing around and not actually accomplishing anything. Very very bizarre uh yeah they don't really have any good c criticisms other than it doesn't have like any focus whatsoever and it's just not the office i you know they wanted it to be the the guys from the warehouse from the office aren't that funny why would you think these guys are and it's yeah this is the guy is saying which i might agree with here unlike many comedians when they put in charge of their own unscripted shows He's not. Oh, he's not playing the straight guy. He's supposed to be the toilet. He's supposed to be the fun, the the humor. I don't know. I just I didn't find it to be very effective. But there is good news, probably because it costs nothing. Is that it's going to get a second season? Yeah, not super. Like, do I care enough? I don't think I care enough to watch the second season. Like I said, there's a really really good joke about putting women in a shipping container. But there's so many jokes and setups that just don't pay off anything. There's a cop who I don't even remember being in the show at all who shows up out of nowhere on a bike and is like, I'm here to shut you guys down. And then he never actually shuts them down. And he doesn't shut them down after the one girl like like smashes her face in a windshield. Like, none of it makes any sense. But it got renewed. So when will we see it? I have no idea. But th the weird thing is Netflix renewed it before it started streaming. And it started off at number one, but it slowly fell off. So it's not doing as well as they maybe hoped. But for the price they paid for it, they must have paid nothing for it. So, And then just as a last thing, I'll just look at the Rotten Tomatoes. Of course, the critics hate it 43%. I don't think it's that bad. If it had stayed episodes one through three, I would have said it's unwatchable. Once it got to episode four was kind of funny, episode five was funny, and episode six was kind of funny. It wasn't like hilarious, but it was kind of funny. So 87% seems a little generous. That seems like a lot of uh, Shane Gillis stands were really pushing hard on that one. I would give it probably a B minus, C plus maybe, so 78. Let's go with 78. Mildly funny, but not ultimately good enough for me to maybe watch it again. I would say skip this one. If you, if you don't like Shane Gillis... You're definitely not going to like this. And if you 
like the if you're expecting the office but like more blue collar instead of a white collar office skip it you're not gonna like it anyway that's my opinion you tell me in the comments below have i lost my plumb mind is shane gillis just so funny to you that it overrides a terrible and lackluster script i don't know Maybe for you, but not for me. So anyway, thanks for listening. We have a live podcast. You can catch you can catch the restream on iTunes for free. You can catch the live stream Friday nights here on YouTube. You can also catch it on Rumble. And uh, you can join the channel and help us out. Like and subscribe. Appreciate you. Love y'all, but uh, I am on to the next one.